Hi, I'm Barry Stevens, and I'm an English teacher. I would like to introduce you to a new series of clips called DMTV. I'll also show you how to deal with many common problems you have to face when teaching third class students in an upper secondary schools. This episode is to show you how we can work with both basic level students and extended level students at the same time. Today's class subject is high school rules. The very first thing you need to do is to warm up your students. My proposition for you is to show them pictures of different elements which are connected with school rules, dress codes, food, cell phones, or makeup. They can try to guess the subject of today's lesson based on these pictures. When they guess the subject, you can ask them to give more examples of their associations connected with rules in high school. Now let's see how students do the exercise. Okay, so after a brief brainstorming on today's topic, open your books on page 224 and have a look at exercise 2A. Try to match the words in box A with their synonyms in box B. You have two minutes for that. You can talk to your partners to discuss the possible solutions. Um, so, unusual. Um, it's uh, on something. That's okay. <laughs> um, Forget to read. It uh, must be bad. Bad. Okay, great. So let's now move to 2B. The task for you is to choose the correct meaning of the underlined phrases and expressions. We will check the correct answers in two minutes. Again, you can work either with partners or individually. So, first one? Uh, I think B. Yeah, really? Yes. Uh, maybe. But the second one, I think it will be A. Yes, sure. Yeah. What do you think about the first question? Oh, A. Definitely. Notice that the teacher allows each student to tell their story and to express their opinion fully without being critical of errors in grammar or pronunciation. Before you do the next exercise, you can ask your students about their own personal experiences in connection with school regulations or rules. Okay, so have you ever heard of any schools in which some strange or unusual rules must be obeyed? Would you like such rules to be introduced in our school? Mm -hmm. Marcelina, what do you think? Well, for example, in my junior high school, we weren't allowed to use any kind of makeup, absolutely nothing. I think it was a stupid idea because appearance is very important for girls. Fortunately, in our school, there aren't any strict rules connected with clothes or makeup. Okay, thank you. Any other examples? Okay, Darek. Yes, my mom once told me that when she was younger and attended her high school, and somebody forgot his book, then he was smacked with a ruler, and I find it quite unfair and strange. Okay, thank you. After this exercise, you can smoothly proceed to another one, the recording. It's important to recognize that the whole group, regardless of what level each student is on, will be working with the same task with regard to the use of listening skills. Although this is an extended level lesson, it utilizes vocabulary which is passive for the basic level students, yet should be active for the extended ones. In this case, the same listening skills are required for the entire group. However, the tasks involved for each level of student do differ. Thank you very much for your answers. And now we are going to listen to a recording about rules introduced in some schools. Before I play the recording, the basic level students are supposed to read sentences from task A on page 224 and the extended level students task B on the next page. After listening to the recording twice, Group A are going to tell me if the sentences are true or false and Group B are going to give me the correct answers A, B or C. As you can see, both the basic and extended level students are working simultaneously. Even though this is an extended level lesson, 
and the vocabulary, which is passive for the basic level students, is active for the extended level ones. In this case, listening is the same for the whole group. However, the tasks for each level of students are different. These are clever and convenient solutions for working with mixed level groups, aren't they? You can finish up your lesson with a homework writing assignment. The basic level students are to write a blog about some unusual rule which has been introduced in their school, whereas the extended level students could be asked to write an article entitled, More Discipline Equals Better School. See you next time when I will show you how to teach your students how to write a blog.